Morphin time! What's up guys? Welcome back to It's Maddie Morphin. I know it's been a little bit since I got a video out and I apologize, but life is life and work is crazy. So, I'm gonna be doing a little Let's Chat video and a small little unboxing, some prize packs, because last week we did have the Hasbro Pulse Fan First Friday, well, Fan First Fest, Fan Fest, whatever you want to call it, and there were announcements, 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 announcements. There were some good ones, some not so good ones. And we're going to talk about those a little bit while I'm going to be opening up some random little things I got from the mail and things I found at the 99 cent store. So, uh, let's start off with the first announcement that they made. They talked about upcoming publishments. They talked about Air to Darkness, which came out last week, two weeks ago. So, not much of an announcement when I've already got them in hand. And I even got the uh, black and white variant cover. Shout out to my local comic shop, Dragon Slayer Comics and Fantasy. So, you know... They're my go-tos, and I can't wait for our next Power Ranger meet and greet, and I can't wait to announce that when I get the details myself. So, announcing things that have already come out is how they started the day. They started with the comic, then they went into the White and Jetty Ranger coming for Power Rangers Legacy Wars. I'd seen it screenshotted on Facebook the day before. I don't really play Legacy Wars. I play Battle for the Grid sometimes. I want to start streaming that some more. Um, but yeah, so announcing things that have already come out. Just started it off on the wrong foot. It's like, why? We already know. This is supposed to be announcements and reveals and if we already know, then what's the point in even saying anything about it? But I'm gonna hop into one of my mail things. Um, so back in a previous video, you saw that I got to meet Rory Travis and Jazz Bariwila. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, I got to meet and interview these those two guys from Power Rangers Beast Morphers. It was super awesome. Again, at Dragon Slayer Fan Comics and Fantasy. Um, and he loved my vest. He loved my... Uh, Jazz and Rory both loved my vest and loved my pins and everything. But he's like, you don't have any Beast Morphers. So, I have finally fixed that. I picked up from... Lineage Studios, the Beast Morphers pins. They actually had them on sale for a little bit, so I picked them up. So, Beast Morpher red pin. And I'll probably post pictures instead of over sh showing these. Beast Morpher blue pin. And Beast Morphers yellow. Now, I'm kind of sad because they didn't put in the gold, gold ranger, um, and they didn't do, like, Blaze and Roxy. Yeah, Blaze and Roxy. I haven't seen those, but these pins look awesome. I can't wait to add them onto my vest, and I will have more than just Mighty Morphin on my vest because there's more to Power Rangers than Mighty Morphin, and I know my whole channel has been based around Mighty Morphin, but getting my interviews and everything, I've grown and branched into Dino Fury, which is brand new. And I'm behind on episodes. Head down. But I've got more Dino Fury videos coming for you soon. If you haven't checked out my Dino Fury videos, definitely check out the uh, Spork Spotlight, where I am focusing on the weekly villains. But yeah. So, Jazz, Rory, they're finally at it. Uh, well, will be, but they're here. Also, while we're going to keep talking about the Hasbro announcements, I have these little backpack clip blind packs that I got 
from the 99 cent store. I was looking for the Mighty Morphin figures, but I still have not found them here in Houston. So we'll be opening up some of these as we're talking. So Hasbro announced that August is going to be power month. Uh, and I'm excited about that. A whole month dedicated to Power Rangers, like new stuff coming out. My bank account's not going to be happy about it. But I'm excited, and there's a bunch of exclusive stuff, and we all know how we feel about exclusives. It's going to be hard to get anything. Sweet. There's more for blue in the lightning bolt backpack clip. So I'll leave, leave these out here. Um, so yeah. GameStop is getting a Pink Ranger, um, a Pink Ranger themed, they're doing a whole campaign. Uh, Walmart was doing a retro campaign, and then Target and Amazon have one as well, but they haven't been announced anything about what theirs are. Um, so Power Rangers Day, as you know, or should know, is August 28th. And I can't wait to see what they have in store. Because I feel like it's going to be a lot of cool things. Oh, nice. Just the Power Rangers logo. I like that one a lot. Oh, new Matty Morphin logo coming soon, too. So, can't wait. Working on that. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, then they got into figure reveals. The Lightning Collection reveals. Uh, it... Heavy Mighty Morphin, and I love Mighty Morphin. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not that excited about these Lightning Collections. I'm probably going to get them, but I've held off so long on Cat that I'm not that worried about it. The Metallic Pink Ranger has been out for a while. I haven't picked her up or ordered her, um, and now they've announced everybody except for the White Ranger in Metallic and there's huge speculation that that's going to be a con exclusive at some point. Meh. I, the head sculpts got updated for Rocky and Billy. Rocky looks better. He does look like Rocky. Billy looks better. He doesn't look like Austin Powers anymore, as David Yost has said. Uh, Aisha looks okay. Uh, can't complain about that. Adam, I think they already had him perfected for his first figure in Zero Four. Um, so, I, I'm probably going to get them just to have it for the collection. Um, but not the hugest announcement. The best thing that came out of this fan, fan fest is the announcement for... Lightning Collection figure of the Tyrannosaurus Century, um, and if you don't know what that can come, if you don't know what that comes from, it comes from um, Boom Comics. Again, I love the comics. Um, so the Red Ranger from Beast Morphers Lightning Bolt. Hopefully, I get all of them. Um, yeah, so. It's just, that was it. That was the highlight. And then they had that today, as of recording, was going to be a huge announcement for Battle for the, Battle for the Grid? Yes, for Battle for the Grid. And that announcement has come out now uh, as I'm recording. And it's the Street Fighter crossover characters coming to Battle for the Grid for $12.99. Uh, downloadable content, which is way too much money for two characters and some skins when this game is basically being built and paid for by DLC. I don't have the numbers yet, but I think I'm going to add it up and figure out how much to have the base game plus the downloadable characters, how much this game has cost at this point, and boom, it'll be right there. Um, oh, I got my first double. Blue. Jazz right there, man. Um, so yeah, like, today's, like, today's announcement. <clears throat> yesterday's announcement 
Oh, another one. Jeez. Three in a row. Two in a row. Back to back. I'll be giving away any of the extras. So if I see you at a con or, well, cons, hopefully soon. Or if I see you at Dragon's Lair. Oh, another Power Rangers logo. Um, just hit me up on Facebook, even if you want one of these. Cool. I, I don't mind. I'm just going to be giving it away, so it is what it is. And boom, another one. I think I have one more pack. How many packs do I have? I've got two more packs. Two more blind packs. I found these and they were just cheap, so I figured, why not? That's good. Oh, this one's different. It's the three rangers again, but a little bit different. That one's cool. I like that one. The only one I'm missing is the Yellow Ranger Lightning Bolt. And I hope this is it. Because that would be dope. And boom! Got her. I got all of them. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> if you like this video, I know it was short and it was kind of sloppy and everywhere. But there wasn't... I'm late to the game on talking about what happened last Friday. I I can't wait to get these figures. Like, I say I can't wait, but they weren't, they're not something that I'm just like, I have to have. Something that I have to have and that is pre-ordered and should have been announced at some Fan Fest Friday or something like that were the Rita, Repulsa, and Goldar figures, or statues from PCS. Those should have been, like, held and announced at some point. Not just pictures pop up online and then get the pre-order. I found those pre-orders on my own, and I made sure to get those. Like, those were something that I drove after. Like, I want, want, want. So, leave me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you've been, you guys have been thinking. Uh, what did you guys think of the uh, Power Rangers fan first? Shout out to No Pink Spandex for being the spokesperson for the fans. Um, and having that great opportunity. Fingers crossed one day maybe I can get that. Uh, but shout out. It was nice to see your face. I've seen your posts and I like all of them. But leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button for more Morphin content, and keep checking back. And thanks for watching.